Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new adventure. Got a really cool video for you today. And it's gonna be due in part to a discovery by RJ70 Productions. I am down here in his neck of the woods today to do a few videos. This is our second one. The first one you'll find down below in the description, but this one is gonna involve us going underground. And right now we're standing on an abandoned rail line that goes in this direction here. And further back underground is something that he discovered. And he said, I gotta get the guys back here. So I'm here to accompany him got some lighting, we've got some gear, and we got each other for safety to see what exactly is down there and how far it goes. Don't really have any information about it, a little bit of speculation, but maybe we'll discover more as we go. So if you want to check it out, come along with us. So looking straight ahead, it's where we just came from. A little bit further down is where we did my intro. And now we're going to be following RJ down this steep and narrow, curvy pathway. So I'm not going to feel my way down there, but I'll see you at the bottom. Okay, so I just came down this pathway here and ran into a bit of a dilemma, dilemma a aquatic issue, if you want to say. Here's what we're looking to get into, but... When RJ was here, he was able to walk right in. With some heavy rainfall over the past week, the water level is higher, and high enough that it would be over our knees in the middle. Now, we did look on the other side. We could possibly scramble our way down, get up on that little ledge there. We're gonna try to do that. Very worst case scenario, I may roll up the jeans and walk through anyways, because I really, came to see this today. I don't want to go home without getting inside and see what it is, but hopefully we can get on the other side there, make our way down, but we'll keep you updated. So we'll be back in a moment. So this is our next plan of attack to bushwhack through this thick, picky, pointy, unpleasant stuff. But if it gets us to the other side safely and dry, it'll be worth it. So, wish me luck. Well, the idea for me was to have some really cool B-roll of me walking into this, making it kind of dramatic, but I left my pool noodle at home and my floaties. So it's gonna be a very non-dramatic entrance. As long as we get inside, that's all that matters. So I think we're gonna make it work though. We are close, we are on dry land and we're gonna kind of walk the tightrope on the side here. So we'll take a step at a time, see what happens. Okay, so RJ made some progress. Uh, he's a little bit more nimble than I am. So I may inadvertently end up getting wet. That's why all the ladies like him. He's flexible like Gumby. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna probably hand off the camera to him and hopefully I stay dry, but if I don't, not the end of the world. For about one second, I'm gonna put mine over here. Okay, I made some progress, but we still got some challenges ahead, so we're taking this ever so slightly. We may be at a dead end here. We may have to get wet. We really don't want to, though. But yeah, we're standing on this little catwalk here. It's muddy, it's covered in glass. Definitely not the best situation, but we are determined. So once we do figure out what we're doing, we will return. So the nice guy that RJ is, he's actually building a bridge out of rocks here because it's uh, not really feasible for us to get over safely with our equipment. So he made it across, he left his backpack here, left me here, but he is uh, slowly making some progress. And I think 
we're going to be able to get over and continue down that black hole, which I can't wait to do. So after so, uh, the necessary steps that have to be taken here, we will pick up with the video. All right, guys, uh, success. We made it to this point dry so far. A little dirty, but that's okay. Now we gotta tackle the next spot, which we'll show you over there next. So our next obstacle is right ahead of us. We got another pool of water, and then the elevation here. And what our plans are, there's a railroad tie further up there. We're gonna try to carry it over here and use it as a makeshift bridge. So we're going through a lot of effort, but I think at the end, it'll be worth it. Is that because you, as you can see, it goes quite a ways. And if we could uh, get that thing going on the side here, we won't fall in. This would be kind of shimmying a little bit over. You go, Tonto. <laughs> Man on a mission, can't stop him. He wants to get in there. He's getting in there. It's gonna miss though. Now, let's see. You wanna try it? Well, let me get out of here first. <laughs> I got it. Go ahead, one go. All right, so with determination and teamwork, we have made progress. We're up here on the upper level now. Here it's dry and a straight shot as far as we know. Dirty, a little wet, but we, not drenched. we're not drenched. We didn't get hurt. It's probably gonna be harder getting back out than it was to get in, but we'll worry about that later. But this is what we're gonna be facing next. We're gonna walk this tunnel. As far as we know, it's used for drainage now for water. There is different holes coming down. It is wet in here. The river level obviously does make it wet in here as well. But we don't know how far it goes. We don't know what's at the end, but there's only one way to find out. So let's get moving. Tree, I thought it was building up there. 
I mean, it's not gonna be s I mean, not too difficult to get through. This might actually be inside that fence. Because okay. there was some. So, just to show you guys, there is a uh, light coming through here. I'm gonna try to stick you in and show you. So, we're looking through an opening here to the left side of the tunnel. It goes out to the surface. We don't know where it comes out at. We may check the other way back as a possible point to exit. But directly across from it, I'm going to show you something else. So looking across here, there's another opening which caught my attention. And when we look in this one, it is definitely man-made. You can see it's backfilled right there. This is a narrow gauge piece of track right in front of us. I'm going to zoom in and show you a little bit better. Yeah, that goes to the surface, but it is backfilled. But it's a pretty high ceiling, concrete and brick. And a bunch of cave crickets in there too. So Kathy, if you're watching, you don't want to come this way. <laughs> so the one thing that we did think of is that this may have one time been used for boats. And the reason we think that's because where we came in there, it's much lower and even with the river level. And then you come up to the upper portion here. So it could have been for boat storage, um, delivery, uh, transportation of material. We really don't know yet, but we are just kind of speculating. We are finding though lots of sections of rail, narrow gauge rail. So they very well could have had rail coming down here to go to a barge or something. So we are kind of slowly piecing together pieces of the puzzle. Don't know if they're going to be in the correct order or not, but it's at least uh, somewhat of a direction to go towards. That goes too almost all the way to the surface, that hole. But it is a uh, concrete lined. Stone on the bottom, concrete lining on top. And you see in the concrete the form marks from the form too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, here's a subsided area here. Kind of partially collapsed. And it's actually undermined over here almost. To see some looks like I see some water flow on a regular basis. Yeah, you don't want to spend too much time to an area like this because it could be prone to collapse, just like up here, too. Wow. Okay, so that's another, that's man-made. There's pipes there. There's actually cinder block lined walls, it looks like, maybe. That might have been where I was looking at. Is that yeah, going? It was pretty far. Yeah. Pennywise, you in there? We know Cliff won't be there. <laughs> no Cliffs allowed. This actually sees some substantial water flow. Oh, yep, another elevation. <sighs> I guess we have to go back to hit the railroad tie. <laughs> it looks like there's a ladder here. Oh, hey, look at that. Nobody thought of us ahead of time. This, uh, this is actually a pretty bad area of the tunnel. This is all washed away this sees some torrential water coming out of here yeah definitely wouldn't want to be in here in a rainstorm that was a plastic bottle left behind from the dinosaurs <laughs> now just to show you where we came we came around a bend here i'm actually gonna kill the lights to show you I'll put it on the main camera here. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a train coming. And as I spin around, I'll show you. As I say, almost fall. Darkness. Where'd you go? Hey! Hold me. I'm just not gonna. Come down much more. Ooh. So after pretending that we're in the movie The Goonies, we are uh, 
Gonna make some progress. Ooh, there's a manhole here. You can kind of see that. But yeah, we gotta keep away from the Fratellis and find one eye Willy. I'm not a Goonie. I wanna go home. All right, making some progress again. Ooh, it gets even better. Ooh, here's where the, the loot is held. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It goes off that way. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty far under right now. Yeah, we are. And it turns again. Okay, so quick update. This is the Fratelli's hideout right here. We'll check the way back. There's actually beams on top of it. We're below a building, actually. Those are uh, floor supports. We're below a building. It's just too cool, though. This is amazing. Ooh. I think it might stop in there. Look at all the cave crickets. Here, cricky, 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 cricky. Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there's a little furry friend in here. It's a bat. Isn't he cute? One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, Froggy. Kermit. Hi yo, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> You're a long way from home, buddy. Go find Miss Piggy. Whoever said exploring is easy is telling you nothing but lies. <sighs> this is tiring. Today on Summer of the Olympics. <laughs> TV videos pull up. <laughs> 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 So we are shrinking down to get into the Waka factory. The tunnel is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> I hate hunching over like this. Where are we? We're under the pole barn next to the kilns over there. Oh. So you think. Because <laughs> they could even go that way towards the street. Okay, so brief update. We reached the end. As far as we go physically walking without going up drainage pipes, which we're not going to do. I'm going to show you two screenshots right now showing you uh, first one where we started at the river's edge to where we are now. And the second screenshot is going to show you more closer to where we are. So basically where I'm sitting, the uh, kilns are off to my left. Parking lot where I parked is behind RJ, and behind me is a building here, uh, another business. So we're kind of right in the middle of everything. 
there is grates here we could possibly get off if we wanted to i kind of want to go back though and show you that little side shoot where i said there was a fratelli's hangout just to show you that and um we're hopefully going to make another way out of here instead of going the way we came because we did go through a lot of effort to do this but it definitely was worth it though i'm glad i was able to do this with rj glad he was able to take me here and he was on the point he's like oh man we can't do this today it's too wet i'm like no we're gonna do it one way or another i don't care if i have to go buy a swimsuit and get wet <laughs> we're gonna do it and we did it but we can actually hear people outside so we're not gonna be too loud we can hear kids playing and we don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves they're gonna be calling the cops on us <laughs> we'll be at the real life for tellies <laughs> so uh we're just gonna take a little break here and then um we'll probably see you as i uh and you're gonna go back down the way we came and show you that side chamber. Yeah, you know, RJ's liking the flashlight. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> Just put stream light to chain. But uh like Chuck Willery says, we'll be back in two and two. Is that guano? Marble. Oh. Yeah. It had been used for, uh, I bet it had been rail. Yeah. And this was, like you said, the original level. Took the rail out and got eroded. Look at the size of that boulder strand it had, too. Yeah, that's massive. Cave crickets. <laughs> Just need to see the roof grain in the almost more concrete form. And here you can see the, the weight of the concrete bowed the wood down right here. Yeah, you can see that flexing. Okay, so we're not gonna film the entire way back because it's gonna be just repeating what we saw. So I'm gonna pick up once we reach that fertility chamber, as they call it. So I'll see you there. All right, so I'm going to show you what I saw in there. Now here are some big joists, big timber supports. This one's charred actually. So it comes to pretty much a dead end here. This is a, more or less a drainage culvert here. There's a surface. Underneath though, there was a pipe. I did crawl back there. It just uh, tapers off to nothing. Just another drain back there. But we believe these are pretty close to the building and kiln area. But it is concrete, more modern here. And here you can see old metal and some more modern wood and even a section of railroad track as a support beam and, a couple pieces there too. The and the uh cave crickets right there hi buddies so people are afraid of them but they're pretty harmless they just look creepy so this is the uh, Fratelli's chamber. 
Fortunately, all the gold and loot and the blooms are gone. But we got to check it out. And good thing is there's no booby traps. Found something metal. metal. That's heavy, geez. Gold ingot. <laughs> Dud. We're going to back out to the main tunnel and uh, head back. Find out which way we're going to exit because we do have a couple options now. And hopefully we pick one that's dry. So, make sure you have your flashlight, keep your head down low, and we'll keep moving along. So we return to our first obstacle. Metal ladder, which Made it easy. I wonder if we should take it with us. <laughs> I think we should. Unless we go out a different way, but either way, we could definitely use it. Oh, yeah. There. That wasn't too bad. Alright. Come ladder. You just became our new best friend. <laughs> yeah, because we're gonna use it one way or another to get out of here. That's right. And we'll take turns carrying it once we get past here. Oof. Bourbon, take it with me. Hi ho, hi ho, off to work we go. Okay, so we do have light, that's good. So either we're gonna go through a side chamber that we found or the way we came either way we're using a ladder okay so rj's gonna crawl up there he's a little smaller than i am a bit more nimble you're gonna see if there's an exit up there if not we will head back out that way so rj went up there and uh it comes up to the surface but it brings us on to someone's property. And there's a fence that's separating the property from the kilns and we don't want to trespass. So we're gonna go the way we came, but use the ladder to our advantage to get down more safely and a bit drier. So we'll see you near the entrance. Such short people steps. <laughs> oh, that's so like <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, we made it back safe and sound to the beginning of the tunnel here. And I got to say, this is by far one of the most craziest adventures I've been on. I didn't think there was going to be this much involved. Obviously, he didn't know the rain level was going to be as high as it was the water level. But that didn't deter us. Determination and stubbornness and willingness to go on, it, it paid a off. A little extra push. Yes. A gentle push. <laughs> gentle push. <laughs> but he was a perfect guy to have with me today. You know, he is willing to do what it takes to get the job done. And um, I felt safe doing it with him too. Really cool location though. Um, like I said, we don't know precisely what this was. We have some thoughts that again, where we're standing was a boat area for maybe a barge. Behind us, that platform may have had rails, which we do believe we saw a lot of remnants of ties and rails. We think there was something with rails coming down to load a barge or unload, vice versa. But if you guys happen to know anything else, you're welcome to share it. But as far as construction time, I would guesstimate 1800s definitely, um, without a doubt. It is stone lined, built by hand, and it goes for a good distance. You know, we went probably 100 yards maybe. At least. Yeah, so uh, it made for an incredible adventure. We got a lot of cool photos, which I will share at the end for a photo montage. But I'm going to turn it over to RJ, see if he has any thoughts he'd like to share. All right. Well, yeah, definitely. Uh, when uh, Blaine and I came here, 
we were kind of determined to get in there too, but just with how deep this water is down here, we didn't want to take any chances of either one of us falling in and losing our footing or not being able to grab on to get up there. So we didn't have the determination that we did today to start throwing rocks in there and, you know, make ourselves a little bridge to get over there. And then we got lucky finding that ladder coming back out. So that's going to make it a lot easier for getting out, um, which we may hide that somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I might take it with me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make it easy for everybody else coming in here too. So, um, but uh, yeah, it was definitely a cool, cool exploration. Kind of wish Blaine could have been along, but this was just a Jay and I wanted to do something together, and this worked out awesome that we were able to do this one, do this explore together. So, um, definitely glad that I made it. We made it. He got to see this. He's been since he saw the, my video, my footage of the, the kilns. He's been wanting to get drone footage of that and see this place and was dying to get in this tunnel so mm -hmm. <laughs> just glad i was able to bring him here so that's it okay so like he said just to recap really quick that ladder that we found was a saving grace uh it managed to help us get up the other levels and back down safely without getting wet or dirty and no more chucking of rocks <laughs> um even though it was muddy, musty even though it was messy and muddy it did serve its purpose though we were able to get in here without having to step through the water itself but um yeah. For the most part, we stayed dry other than a little splash here and there. Yeah, it was doable though. Yeah. But um, as far as location goes, the location is not posted. There's no trespassing signs. It's not gated off. Uh, other people have been here. We saw graffiti in there. But use common sense if you come to this location or any other location. You don't want to do it alone. You know, there is loose rock fall. Something could fall on you. You could a twist an ankle. A lot of things could happen that could go wrong. But doing it together like this, you know, we had each other's backs. We got great footage. So make sure you check the description for his channel link to see his perspective, because even though we're both here together, we both show different things, give different ideas, different comments about it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the adventure. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you do so, ring the notification bell and choose all. That way you'll get alerts whenever I upload new content. So with that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. In there now? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, silly. Ooh. Booby traps, that's what I say, booby traps. <laughs>